graders. This is the video for Wednesday, March 18th, 2020. And I want to just first of all give a shout out to all the second graders and their parents because we were the first class that had everybody pick up their packets of work. Good job. All right, so hopefully you were hard at work yesterday. I know I kind of gave you, a, I got a little bit excited that we were coming back and I kind of gave you a lot of work. So today there's going to be a little less work because I have a feeling you're going to be catching up on some of yesterday's. Also, we have late start on Wednesday, so we usually do a little bit less work. The really exciting thing is we are going to meet up on Zoom for real this time at, what time is it? It's a little different time than I said last time, 9.15 today. And hopefully... 9.15 will be our regular time. So you guys are not going to be able to be sleepyheads because you're going to have to get up in time to meet up with your friends. And apparently um, Mrs. Johnson did a Zoom uh, yesterday and the kids, can, you guys can actually see each other on your iPads or on your computers. And so we're going to try it, but this is going to be my first time to do Zoom. So hopefully we'll make it all work. Uh, just if you're, if you're watching this at 8 o'clock, you have just a little bit of time if you're watching it after. We already did it, but you can do it tomorrow. Um, so I will be sending those messages out before 9.15. And there's going to be a certain code that you put in. So if you're seeing this in the morning, get on there at 9.15. If you missed it, we're going to be doing that this on a regular basis, hopefully. And I'll be teaching you something. So this video is going to be a lot shorter than yesterday because we're going to actually be meeting up. Uh, first thing I wanted to say is that we're talking about respect this month. And a lot of you behind me has some really good ideas of showing re respect uh, in your actions and your words. And a lot of those things that you said were things that happened at school, like listening to your teacher and saying kind words to your friends. But for the last five days in a row, you probably didn't see your friends, and you have to apply those same respect things to the people at home. And then there were some don'ts that you also came up with, like don't disobey your parents, things like that. Don't be mean to your brothers and sisters. Um, so those are the things that, I, after we've been home for, for such a while, um, we're going to have to really start working on respect. So I do have an activity coming up that you could do that's about respect, that's going to be fun. Also today, we have some, there's going to be this book that you can listen to by some random YouTube lady online because if you were here I would be reading you this book and there's also an extra activity that's going to go with that so I'll tell you about it a little bit later because we're still not done with St. Patrick's Day even though that was yesterday. So let's start off. For math today we're going to be doing accelerated math. Now I sent home in your packets a, a, a page of accelerated math so everybody should have something. Maybe you already did it. Oh I noticed before I made this video there were some people who already did accelerated math. Good job, Gia and Keola and Prince and Cooper and Anita. Now, when you watch this video, there might be more of you who, who have done accelerated math, but this morning when I checked, those people had already done it, so good job. You could be one of those people too. Get on your accelerated math on the computer and score it after you do your page. Or you could just do the accelerated math on your computer. Now, today we're going to be doing social studies, and we usually use our books, and we have a little booklet. But I went ahead and made copies for you, and so in your packet there's going to be some copies of some reading, and this is actually going to be our reading for today too, so you can count this in your reading time. You're going to read about the song, America, and sing it. Now, I also put a link on the website if you want to sing this song. There's some people singing it, and you can sing along. Uh, fun fact about this song, America, it was, the tune was actually a German song, which was God Save the King. And in England, that same tune, right now they have a queen in England, is the song God Save the Queen. And when I was in England for the first time, I was about 17 years old, and I heard them playing God Save the Queen, but I didn't know that, and I was like, why are they playing My Country Tis of Thee, American song, in England? And they weren't, because everybody else was singing these words about the queen and how wonderful she was. Uh, but in this reading, we're going to find out how that tune has a lot of different words to it, but it became a really neat song that we sing in America. Uh, and then you're going to only have to answer two questions. So you're going to get a page like this, because this is the last of our little booklet about songs. And you only have two questions to answer. And remember, read it, 
first, then answer the questions as you go. Now, uh, let me show you a couple other things. Okay, so for spelling, remember, you already cut out these words on sort 25, and you're going to practice sorting them again. Just to practice, and when you do it, you want to look at the words and say the words and think about the sounds. Like that er sound and that ear sound, and that er sound spelled E-A-R. So, um, go ahead and sort those, and then you can put them away again, because we're not going to glue them on yet, until tomorrow probably. And then you can take your spelling list and go ahead and fill out the bingo card using your spelling list 25 and the A list words as well. And so we'll go ahead and play bingo tomorrow on our, on our Zoom. So that'll be on Thursday's Zoom. Okay? So let me show you what we're going to do for our respect lesson today. We're going to read a story about Ruth and Naomi. And this is a story from the Bible. And Ruth was very respectful to her mother-in-law. It wasn't even her mother. It was her mother-in-law. And there's a story about that. And if you were here, I would read this story to you. But you can read it yourself and count it as reading time. Or you can get someone to read it to you. And then you guys play a little matching game. So what you do, I've already done this, is you cut off the little um, cards. And you use a die. And you roll the die. And then whatever the die says, you match it up with one of the questions. So let's say you get... Three. Three says, how did Naomi know Ruth? Now, there's a bunch of choices here, and you pick the right one, and then you glue it on to match. Now, if you forget and you don't know, then you can always look back at the story, and it will tell you. Okay? Now, let's see what else we have. Okay, today um, I'm going to be giving you some chance, a chance to work on your math facts. So you're going to go to Freckle Math, and I've been on the instructions, it tells you how to go to Freckle Math, and I've given everybody an assignment. So it's going to say on there, your teacher, from your teacher, and then you're going to click on that, and that's going to be um, either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, whatever you're working on. Now it's not individualized, so that if you're doing times two, it might have more things than just times two, but there is going to be assignment from your teacher that you're going to work on today for a few minutes. All right, and then the last thing we're going to do is you're going to work on your science report. Now, yesterday on the video, I showed you kind of what to do on each page, and I want, I want you to get it out and look at it and see how far you are. If you only have one page, maybe you should try to do a couple of pages today because we want to get about four pages done by Friday so that next week we can finish our report. If you're already ahead, you know, you can, you can either finish it this week and then just have it done, or you can just take a break from it today if you're ahead. So that's just going to depend on where you are on your science report. Now, I've given you a couple of optional activities. So one of them is for recess. And I noticed that um, I, got a picture, I got one picture, which um, I'm going to show you tomorrow, and hopefully more people are sending pictures in of what they built or um, their skinny sculptures. And it's okay to send that in other days, because um, I'd like to share those with the rest of the class if you send me some pictures. But anyway, I have an optional recess, <laughs> optional recess activity. Now, when I'm making this video, it is not raining. Now, I can't guarantee what's going to be happening when you're watching this video. So, the activity is, I would like you to time yourself for one minute and do some physical exercises. And these exercises are push-ups. Sit-ups and jumping jacks. So, for example, get a timer. Time one a minute and see how many push-ups you can do. And I know I think Mrs. Murphy's done this in PE before, so do it the way that she taught you. And then the same with push with um, sit-ups. You're going to see how many sit-ups you can do in a minute. And you're going to do jumping jacks, how many jumping jacks you can do in a minute. And then you're going to write it down. Now, if you want to do it more than once to see if you can beat your record, uh, try to do as many as you can in one minute. One exercise, one minute. Get it? And then the reason I want you to write it down is because if you send me your answers, we can use this later when we meet up on Zoom to do some graphic things. Because we haven't really been able to interact with our graphs for the last few days, and I thought it would be really fun to just graph our answers for those. Another thing that you can do if it's not raining is you can take these exercises and make an obstacle course. 
if you have a backyard or some place where you can get outside if it's not raining, it would be pretty cool to make up some kind of little obstacle force. For example, you can do five push-ups, and then you run over to the wall, and then you do ten jumping jacks, and then you run under the jungle dam, or whatever it is that's in your backyard, or if it's not your backyard, some other place that's outdoors. Now, if you have to do it indoors, you're going to have to ask your parents what you're allowed to do indoors. You could do something where you walk here, and you go in this room, and you do some little activity, and then you walk over here, and you kind of time and see how long you can do it. You could actually do it with your brothers and sisters if you have them, or you could just time yourself, and then... Um, later on time yourself again and see if you can beat your time. But it's fun if you can do something where you have to crawl up or crawl under or go around and do some exercises. Um, that could be a really fun activity for you to do and where you can get some exercise and get your heart rate up. All right, so the last activity, that is an optional activity. The last one is extra credit, which is you're gonna listen to, Fiona. if you wanna do the extra credit, you're gonna listen to Fiona's lace. And there's a green paper in your envelope. There's also a link to an activity where you, you make a, some paper lace because this story talks about how um, their family is lace makers and the lace ends up being really important in this story. And it's, it's a really interesting story. I really like it. So the, the paper lace is kind of like making snowflakes. Um, if you mess up on the green paper, you could just do it on regular paper if you want. Um, but it, it kind of looks cool on the green paper and it's a special mulberry paper that... I don't know, it's just, it's just a really different kind of paper. So that's what that paper's for. If you want to do the extra credit activity, and um, listen to the story and do the paper lace. Okay, that's all for today. Bye.